On this episode of Gadget, we're bringing you affordable sound with a Logitech X240. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the University Catholic Center, the California Province of the Society of Jesus, and Gateway. Hello, and welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's a place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balasar of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits. We're the largest religious order in the Catholic Church, and we're here again in the Center for Apostolic Technology at the University Catholic Center on the campus of the University of Hawaii. Uh, I first want to send out a heartfelt congratulations to all of our UH students who have uh, graduated actually uh, today as we shoot this. Uh, it's been a long time, I know, and it's been a long journey, and just, I, I wish you all the best. Be sure to come back and visit us here on our beautiful, sunny, and yet warm and foggy islands. Now let's get on to the tech. Now, I received a email message a, a couple of weeks ago from Anne in upstate New York who wrote, Father Robert, I love your show, I like the tech that you show us, but could you show us something that I could actually afford? I'm actually looking for a set of desktop speakers right now. What's the best set that you've found for under $50? Well, Anne, you're in luck. A few weeks ago, we just happened to get in a set of Logitech X240s from our friends over at Gateway. This is actually part of the FX desktop package that they sent us to review. And uh, I have to say that if you're looking for a set under $50, this would probably have to be it. Now, the question is, can you really have something that sounds decent for that price point, or are we just looking at some crappy plastic imitations that are going to muck up the landfills in a couple of years? Well, here's what we found. The X240 is one of Logitech's least expensive audio sets. It's also the smallest of their multi-channel, multi-function subwoofer combos. Out of the box, the X240 has a subwoofer, two satellite speakers, and a wide remote control that integrates a shelf to dock your music player of choice to the system. Unlike many other speaker setups that have integrated support for iPods alone, the X240 uses a standard 3.5mm stereo plug on the side of the wide remote. Logitech also includes a short cable to link up with your media player of choice. While this takes away the possibility of charging your iPod while docked, the added flexibility of being able to use any media device is nice. The remote functions are sparse. One side is a volume wheel while the front has a power button that doubles as the power indicator light. When not in use, the docking shelf on the remote can be tucked away into the unit, giving you a nice, neat, and flush surface. The other side of the unit has the input for a standard audio source plus a headphone jack for those quiet listening moments. Flip the remote over and you'll see two cables coming out of the unit. One connects to your computer and the other goes back to the subwoofer. The satellite speakers use a slim design in a molded plastic housing with a 2-inch speaker. They connect to the subwoofer via a 3.5mm stereo plug-in cable. Thoughtfully, Logitech has included quite a bit of slack in the cable to give you more choice in where you position your satellites. The subwoofer has a 4-inch speaker and a 25-watt amplifier that gives 15 watts to the subwoofer and 5 to each of the satellites. That doesn't sound like a lot but it should be more than enough to fill even medium-sized offices with an uncomfortable level of sound. The control panel on the X240 subwoofer has a large knob for adjusting bass levels and pulls together all the various cords needed for operation. Speaking of operation, how do these speakers sound? Well, in a word, okay. Let's be clear that the X240 isn't designed to compete against larger speaker setups that run in the hundreds of dollars. As a budget combo, the X240 is made to be inexpensive, easy to use, and to provide good desktop sound. At that task, it excels. I use the X240 with a variety of music and sources, from my Sansa clip playing 192 kilobit per second MP3 files to high def audio from the HD player on my desktop. In each case, the bass response was good, the highs were clean, and the noise was low. From classical music to modern rock, the X240 had more than enough power to fill my small office and provided a good listening experience for my environment. When I switched to podcasts, 
the X240 reproduced them without any of the annoying buzz, hiss, or overbass noise that I've found on similar systems. Still, you will not be confusing the X240 with a Bose or Sennheiser setup. Though it's a very competent desktop speaker system, the biggest feature of the X240 is not in its technology, but its price. At $35 online and even lower at some retail stores, this setup provides quite a bit of bang for just a little buck. Well, there you have it. My recommendation for a system under $50, the Logitech X240. Now, as I've mentioned several times, this is not the most advanced speaker system out there. It's not the best sounding speaker system out there, but it definitely has that price point advantage. Especially when you consider that right now, if you go into uh, you know, a local retail store, I've actually been able to find this exact same setup after rebate for about $10 to $15. I mean, that's nothing to sneeze at. This gives you that level of sound that you need just to be able to listen to decent audio, to, to movies, to, to music, to whatever it is on your desktop, on your laptop, or off of your iPod. If you're looking for a higher end system, you know, something that will run you in the hundreds or even the thousands of dollars, then this is not going to be for you. But if you want something just to complement the desktop that you have, you know, not true high fidelity, high definition audio, but, but something that will just work every time at a price point that doesn't break the bank, then right now nothing beats the Logitech X240. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. If you want to find out anything more about the Logitech X240 or where you can buy them, you can always go to our website at www.thetechstop.net. If you click on the Gadget tab, you'll be able to find links to all of our reviews and all of the Gadget episodes in high resolution. If you want to send us an email message, you can reach us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Balasair. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember... There's no Uber Geek without you.